What's going on guys? Today we're going to find out how many years it would take for the 2021 Canada World Junior Team to win the Stanley Cup. Basically in this video we're pretending they're an NHL team and they stay together forever until they win a Stanley Cup that is. I'm actually recording this the day after they lost to US um, in the World Junior Final of course taking on the silver while US got the gold. So you know I need to do something here to kind of lift my spirits. Right here is a look at the roster, the Canada World Juniors. Kirby Doc, of course, best player on the team by far. I believe the only one with NHL experience, so 82 overall there. Unfortunately, got injured in real life, couldn't play in the tournament, so uh, maybe he can help lead this team to a Stanley Cup. Uh, you can see a good amount of players there in the 70s. Byfield Byram, uh, the next highest rated. Uh, I'd say about half the team is 70s, the other half is 60s, um, with the exception of Kirby Doc. Now, I had to make a change to a few of these guys' rating just because it made no sense at all. Uh, Dawson Mercer was medium top 9 as a first round pick, Zary was a high top 9. Jack Quinns was the most egregious, uh, he was a 55 low top 6 as a 8th overall pick. So bumped him up to 65 high top 6. I think the only other guy I changed uh, was Jamie Drysdale, you know, meanly potential. Again, 6th overall pick, I think that's fair. If you guys don't know, Dylan Holloway here is a created player, 6'6 six, six overall. Medium top 6, was drafted by the Edmonton Oilers in the first round. Uh, same goes for Alex Newhook, Colorado Avalanche uh, draft pick. Pretty good player, 73 overall high top 6, a big part of that uh, top 6 for Canada. Now, uh, goalies are starting goalie was actually a creative player, had never made him before. Devin Levi, I was an 18 year old, 68 overall, medium starter. Reason being, um, Taylor Gauthier here is a 66, and Levi beat him up for the starter position, and not only that, uh, but he actually was named the best goalie of the tournament, so I figured he had to be at least higher rated than him and probably have higher potential. Now, I didn't want to get too crazy with Levi's stats, as if you guys don't know, he was a 7th round pick by the Panthers last year, so I feel like 68 medium starter is pretty fair. I'm pretty sure Spencer Knight's a 70 medium elite, and he's a year older, so uh, I think that Levi did just as good, if not better than Knight, until that final game, I guess. Um, I think those are pretty fair stats. So, I'm going to have the side cap turned off, so it won't matter. I'm basically just curious to see how good they can get. Now for the franchise mode, I'm thinking we'll start with the LA Kings, as they're the lowest rated team in the NHL right now at 82 overall. Uh, next lowest there is the Sanders at 83. Also too, like I mentioned, the tournament took place in Edmonton. The Oilers are Pacific Division team, so I think, you know, us playing in the Pacific would actually make a lot of sense. So uh, I'll substitute out the LA Kings here for the Canada World Junior Team. As I already showed you guys, top players Doc, Byron, and Byfield. Real life, it's actually probably more like Doc, Byron, and Cousins. Um, arena, Rogers Place, I figured since the tournament took place um, in Edmonton, why not you know share the arena there with the Oilers. Um, also too, as you guys will see here, we are 60 overall. So very low rated to start, uh, 23 below the next lowest in Ottawa. But honestly, I think three or four years time, we can be a top team in the NHL as long as all these guys you know, get a good amount of growth. Now, the one thing we have to make sure we change is turning the salary cap off. That way, we can actually keep this team together. So here, you guys, a quick look at the roster to start year one. We've got Krebs, Doc, Cousins on the first line, Perfetti, Byfield, Newhook on the second, uh, Pelche, Suzuki, and Quinn on the third, with Tomasino, Holloway, and McMichael on the fourth. Uh, defensively, it's actually what they use in the World Juniors, so Byram, Drysdale, top pair, Schneider, Harley, second, Gooley, Bear on the bottom. Already showed you guys Levi starting, go with A, backing him up. Uh, scratched here, we got Mercer and Zary, as well as Spence. Uh, course checks already in the HL or junior, or whatever. Uh, same with Garand. These three guys I'm also going to send down. So whether they go in junior, AHL, whatever. So should be interesting to see, you know, who gets more growth playing in the NHL, AHL. Obviously, the 12 best forwards, six best defensemen, two best goalies every single year is who we're going to use. Let's see what happens. Also, guys, I almost forgot. But right here's a look at the home jersey I made. You can compare it to the real one on screen, and then look at the away there. I think it turned out pretty good. You got the red stripes, the black outline, black shoulders. All black equipment. Same with the home, I think, looks pretty sharp too. So at the end of the season now, guys, we finished the record of 18, 59, and 5, which is good for 41 points. Honestly, not terrible considering how low rated this team was. Uh, Dylan Cousins there, 64 points, 82 games. I feel like that, you know, that should give him some pretty good growth. <laughs> He's already 85 overall. Wow, yeah, no kidding, good growth. Rookie season. Um, wow, what did he start out at? 76, so he's plus 9. Newhook's got a plus couple. Doc hasn't changed, even though he had a pretty good season too. Perfetti's up one. Krebs, I mean, Byfield's one. Byram's already in 83, so plus six. Uh, definitely the next biggest growth, but uh, Cousins already in 85 for sure is the biggest shocker. Now, the one thing I'm worried about with the goalies, Levi, you can see his stats weren't the greatest, 0.88, 4.1 against, but he did go up by 1 to 69. I'm wondering if, like, you know, they're going to go down in rating or not grow because we're getting destroyed, but they're young, so as long as we're good, in a few years, I think they should be okay. And look at this, guys. We actually won the first overall pick in the draft. Unfortunately, it means nothing as we're just, you know, keeping our team as is. That would be the time we actually win first overall. You might have noticed Buffalo Sabres there 
are your Stanley Cup champion. So I figured I would just kind of quickly go through the awards. They also won the Presence Trophy. Uh, really good year for them. Brad Marchand there, Art Ross, and the Heart. Shea Weber, James Norris. The friend here though won the call. They're not Dylan Cousins, but uh, still very happy with Cousins' growth. Bill Masterton goes to Thomas Harley. That's kind of cool. Again, it's usually a defenseman on a bad team. So we did get a player award there in our first year. Let's see what happens in year number two. Now, before I show you guys the lines for year two, I want to show you something kind of cool. With the first overall pick, we got Atu Ratu. So there was no like made up franchise guy or anything like that. And then with our fourth round pick, we got a guy who I didn't realize EA added to the game recently. And that's Jesper Wallstedt. Now, Way too uh, low potential in my opinion, 18 years old, 62 overall, the rating's more than fine, but only medium starter, he went 4th round 2021, he needs to be at least a high elite, if not a franchise, as real life he's going to be a top 15, maybe top 10 goalie, so um, high elite franchise doesn't really matter because he's a goalie, but 4th uh, round's way too late for him, although that's still cool to see we got him. Um, also Grand here I have playing in the AHL, you can see 63 overall, medium backup. Got him signed to an 8-year, 700k deal. So if he ever gets really good, all those salary caps off, pretty sweet contract. Now here you can see our lines for year 2. Honestly, top 6 is pretty solid. Doc's now an 86, Cousins still an 85 there. Uh, Perfetti 79, Byfield 84, Newhook 80. Uh, the bomb 6 is like high 60s, low 70s, so they grew a little bit. Uh, defensively, Byram 83, Drysdale 72. So outside of Byram, really not a ton of growth. Uh, goal timing wise, Levi 72, Gauthier there at 68. Now in the AHL, some good things to look forward to. Spence there is playing on a line with plus five, so I think he could get a ton of growth. Um, then you got Tomasino on the second line in the AHL, Zeri on the third line, so honestly that might do them better than the guys that are fourth line in the NHL. We'll see how those players grow after this season. Um, also, too, one thing I forgot to show you guys, but like in real life, obviously the captain C here, we have Doc wearing the C and then Cousins and Byram wearing the two A's. So suddenly in the second year, guys, we finished the record of 26, 49, and seven, so 59 points. Uh, we're last place there in the Pacific Division, but maybe we didn't get last place in the entire NHL. That would be an improvement. Um, but no, we did get last again. Doc, though, almost a point per game is pretty crazy. Uh, Cousin, of course, went up to an 85. He's still an 86, but after that season, I could see Doc, you know, pushing maybe 90 already next year. Byfield, 73, huge year for him. Newhook, 71, 41 goals. He always sims really well, uh, just the way I made him, I guess. Cousins 71, so he's improved. Krebs 69, nice, now an 81. Perfetti 63. So it's basically kind of just the top six that's doing really well. Um, Byram 33 is not too bad. Harley 31. I'd like to see Drysdale, you know, start improving. He's a 72. Needs to get like a big growth spike. He does have that medium elite. Now uh, the rest of the guys in the bomb six. It's gonna be tough for them to grow, but I mean a lot of these guys wouldn't be playing in the NHL yet. Uh, Levi. 0.88 to 4.17. Yeah, I'm not really sure how the goalie growth is going to go, but definitely happy with how the top six is playing. And look at this, guys. In the 2022 draft, where you got Shane Wright, Matthew Savoy, Brad Lambert, we dropped from first to fourth. New Jersey jumping up to that first overall pick. Uh, Tampa Bay Lightning there actually won the Stanley Cup, so they've won it twice now in three years. I'll take another quick look here at all the awards. Uh, obviously, don't want to take too long on that. Vancouver Canucks Presence Trophy. Tampa Bay actually beat Colorado there. And Stanley Cup Final, Malkin, Art Ross, and Hart, Petrangelo, Crosby gets the Lady Bing, Tim Stutzla gets the Calder Trophy, uh, Obi Khan Smythe, Brain Holpe, Vesna, interesting. Uh, we did not get the Bill Masterton Trophy this year, so yeah, it looks like no player boards. I feel like Cousins got robbed of the Calder uh, the year Lafreniere won it, but fair enough. So heading to year three now, hopefully more growth over the summer. Here's an updated look at the line. So I think the top six is pretty much the same, except for the fact, you know, the overalls have changed. Docks 89, by to 87. Uh, Newhook, Krebs, Perfetti, all 84. Holloway, 81, gives us a pretty solid third line center. Also, to I noticed the potential actually went up from medium top six to high top six. Uh, same goes for Doc. His went from high top six to medium elite. I'm hoping the same will happen to Cousins. Uh, Quinn, 77. Suzuki, 75. Like, the team's growing pretty good. Uh, really, none of these guys should bust. Drysdale needs to start growing. As right now, Byram has, like, pretty much no help on defense. Harley, 79, would be, like, a bottom pair guy. Byram 85 is a top four defenseman. The rest are just, you know, AHL rated. Uh, Levi 76 should turn into like an 85 or so. I uh, look at the scratch players here. Tomasino 66 is probably looking like the biggest bust right now. Zeri 73. We'll see what happens. Schneider actually lost his spot in the top six. Uh, dispense there 73, I think. Course checks like a 69. And Garen is the third string goalie. He's like a 65. So that's into year three now, guys. As you can see, we didn't finish last in our division. We actually beat out the Ducks by one point. I was thinking that last game against them might, you know, make us either last in the division or not. 
The Red Wings 72 only beat us by three, so we're 30, 43, and nine. I think I just saw someone else had 62 points. Yeah, we beat the Ducks. Blues 56. I don't know how they did so terrible. Uh, Red Wings 72 only beat, only beat us by three, and the Blue Jacket 62. So I think we're actually fourth last in the NHL, which is an improvement. Uh, Dylan Cousins there, 72 points is pretty solid. Uh, I was hoping, you know, Sun be over a point per game this year, but I'll take it. New Hook 71, 40 goals, 84 overall. Now again, uh, even though like his hands are actually like his better attribute than his shooting, he just always sims really well in terms of scoring. Perfetti and Byfield both 69, nice, 85 and 88 now respectively. Doc 39. Is Cousins a medium elite yet? He's got to be after this season. I think he's got to grow from the 86. Krebs 85. Holloway still an 81. Harley's an 80. Uh, Pelache 34. The guy that I'm really worried about though is Drysdale 21. We've got to get him going. He's playing a lot of ice time. Let's see Levi's stats for this year. Uh, 0.89 and 3.52 is not terrible. So um, hopefully he'll grow a little bit. Now with the 2023 draft here, Nashville's picking first overall, so we'll be getting Connor Bedard, but we actually jumped up from 3-2, to two, so if we were, you know, doing a regular franchise here, we could get Matt B. Michkov, who's supposed to be like the next Ovechkin. You guys might notice there, Winnipeg Jets win the Stanley Cup. And next we'll take a quick look at the awards. I don't really think we'll be getting any. Uh, Pittsburgh there, Presence Trophy, and Winnipeg beat Boston. Stammer, Art Ross, and Hart. Those two pretty much always go hand in hand. Dallin gets a James Norris. Um... That's probably a made-up guy getting the Calder to the Flames. Uh, Shifley, Con Smythe. Bennington now in the Penguins gets the Vesna. Interesting. Peak there in Columbus gets Bill Mastin because I think they did finish last in the league. Um, so, yeah, no player award, but this team seems to slowly but surely getting better. Maybe next season is our first year in the playoffs. So now start season four here, and I've actually mixed up the lines a little bit. Perfetti's now on the first line with Doc and Cousins. Then we then have Quinn, Byfield, Newhook on the second line getting a plus three. Uh, McMichael, Holloway, Krebs, Mercer, Zeri, Pelche. Um, Holloway's 85 now. Uh, Quinn 83, I think, is an update. Perfetti 88 is probably the biggest boost. Um, also, Cousins does now have medium league potential. Uh, defensively, Byram, I think, is the only... Or, sorry, Harley's an 81. The rest of the guys still in the 70s. Um, also, too, I actually had to pay some people. But as I mentioned before, salary caps off, so it doesn't really matter. Um, then Levi, I think, is up to a 77. So he's almost an 80. And I've seen win teams with the Stanley Cup in this with an 80. So... Um, this year, again, I think the goal is the playoffs, although it's still probably not going to happen, but maybe two or three years from now we can win the cup. And right here, guys, I'm actually going to check our offense, defense, and goaltending stats in the last game of the season. 94 offense is really good, only 80 defense, and 68 goaltending is kind of rough. And the reason I'm checking that, actually, is because we've clinched a playoff spot. So I was wondering, you know, what our stats were when we did that. Again, we are really good offense. Defense is okay at best. Goaltending is still pretty bad. So I'm kind of surprised we've honestly made the playoffs already. Uh, but it is the last wildcard spot, or sorry, second last wildcard spot in the West. Uh, beat out the Jets. We actually had more points than the Avalanche, but um, our division was a bit tougher. So we'll be playing. Canucks and Wild are currently tied 101 each. So I'm not sure. We'll find out, I guess. Um, Alex Newhook, 89 points, 82 games. I was saying I was looking for someone uh, to finish over a point per game. He finally did that. 45 goals. I feel like that's an outside shot, Mr. Shard, if no one has a great year. Again, I'm not sure why he scores so much. I think he just takes a ton of shots. Yeah, 296. Even Perfetti, who takes a ton, you can see 70 more. Dylan Holloway, 304. Uh, speaking of Perfetti, 79 is really good. Jack Quinn, 78. He's got a really good shot on him. Uh, Quinn Byfield there. Cousins, Holloway. Doc, kind of a down year, but it's kind of interesting to see how different guys have emerged uh, to lead this team. Obviously, at the start, it was uh, Doc and Cousins. Um, Michael there, 40. He should get a nice little growth. Uh, probably be like an 82 or something. Dreisel's now 80 overall, which is nice to see. Goaltending wise, Levi's got winning record 0.902 and a 3.03. So I'm thinking he could get up to an 80 maybe after this season, but I'll take a look at the standings quick. I'm curious where we finished in the entire league. Uh, there are a few teams to play some games, but um, it doesn't really matter too much. But we're currently 12th in the NHL. Now the Colorado Avalanche could pass us. Uh, they're the only team though. So 12th or 13th in the NHL, I'm pretty happy with that. As the stats showed, I really don't think we're quite a playoff team yet. It must have just been a good sim or something, and I think the fact that we're now going to get playoff experience, uh, we had a winning season, really going to help Levi's growth. Uh, from here on, we should just, you know, play really well. So, Vancouver Canucks. Uh, this is going to be a tough one for sure, so I'll just sim through all of this here. If we somehow pull off a Cinderella story, win in year four, that would be absolutely incredible. Um, we're actually... Wow, up three games there on the Canucks, who won the Pacific Division. I uh, only have to win one of the next four, which obviously is uh, easier said than done. OT loss, 
<laughs> we're on to the second round. Now the second round here with the Calgary Flames, still not sure how we got past uh, Vancouver there round one, and are you kidding me? This team is so good in the playoffs, we just swept them. So, in all my franchises, whenever I had a stacked team, I would often get, you know, bounced first round. This team, defensively and good goaltending wise, should not be in the playoffs, and yet they're crushing it. Um, Minnesota Wild now in the conference final, we're 8-1 uh, through the playoffs. I'm curious to see what they are. They're 9-4. and four. OT loss and a loss. Okay, I haven't picked up a win yet. Another loss, another loss. Okay, so uh, speaking of, you know, getting swept or whatever, Minnesota Street is in the conference final, but still very good showing there in year number four. Now, before we get into the awards for this year, guys, look at Quinton Byfield's playoff stats. 21 points in 13 games. Absolutely was crushing it. If we made it to the Stanley Cup final, I, or if we won the Stanley Cup, I should say, probably would have uh, been the Consumite Trophy winner. Now, Carolina actually beat Minnesota there in the Stanley Cup Final, uh, Toronto President's Trophy, individual awards, to Brinkett, Art Ross, and Hart, interesting. Dalene back-to-back, James Norris, to Brinkett, also got Lady Bing. Brad Lambert on the Minnesota Wild gets Calder Trophy. Um, looking to see, Vesna to Lekkanen, it's interesting. Can we get a trophy this year? Braden points, and no. No awards for our team, but... Like I said, a lot of growth. Alex Newhook's now in 90, and that's the beginning of the summer. He could even be 91, 92 uh, by the start of year five, which would be incredible. Now, here's a look at our lines going into season five, guys. I actually just fired the head coach. I decided to take a look at it as I felt like we weren't getting enough chemistry, and I noticed he was a veteran-style head coach when we're literally using a Canadian World Junior team, so that made no sense. Fired him. I promoted the associate coach. Uh, the forward chemistry really didn't change, but the defensive chemistry got a lot better. Uh, you can see Perfetti, Cousins, and Quinn's now the first line. Jack Quinn's a 91 overall. Uh, he's actually the highest rated player on this team. So uh, he went from, I think, fourth liner at the beginning of the first year to now first liner. It's kind of crazy, too. He had 78 points last year. Only 21 goals with 57 assists, even though he's a sniper with a really good shot, like a five-star shot. Uh, playing with Cousins, Perfetti on that first line. We had that Byfield, Doc, and Newhook on the second. I think Doc's actually dropped in rating by one, which is interesting. Uh, he's got second line role, playing with those two good players. Should do fine. Uh, Krebs, McMichael, and Holloway is the third line. And then uh, Pelche, Zeri, and Mercer on the fourth line. Uh, Pelche is too good for the fourth line, but we've got nowhere else to play him. His hand's there, 99 deking, 95 for the rest of it. I mean, everyone on this team, honestly, is pretty nasty. Uh, defensively, Byron and Drysdale is actually a decent top pair now as we get a plus three. So they're going to be playing like an 88 and 86. Uh, Baron Harley, they're both 80s. Gooley and Spence playing like an 80 and 81. We've got a competent defense. Uh, goaltending Levi 78 still, you know, a little low there. He's like an okay backup. Not really a great starter. Um, also, too, I want to show you guys the AHL team just for fun. So uh, we got Atu Ratu, 86 overall in the AHL. This holding guy, we drafted fourth overall in 2022. He's now an 89. Uh, Tomasino, only a 75. So I got him playing first line. Maybe help his growth. You never know. He could somehow pass somebody um, and break through on that fourth line. Uh, same goes for Suzuki, the 77. So uh, those are the two right now looking like the bus for forwards. Uh, defensively, Schneider and Korschak, 73, 75. They're getting plus three, so if they do have a big year, maybe they make the jump up. And then goaltending-wise, Wallstead's a starter, and then Grand there, still a 68, backing them up. So we made the playoffs last year. I think the team's even better now. Hopefully we can do it again. So see this season now, guys. We're back in the playoffs. They 43, 33, and 6 record, so 92 points, I think that is. Uh, yep, 92 points. Third in the division, wow. Oilers 106, Canucks 111. New hook, 95 points to 52 goals. That could be Risha Shard winning. Uh, Sharks, 48. I'm assuming, yeah, that's the last in the NHL by far. So take a look at everyone else, see how they did. Uh, he's now a 91 overall. Or was he already 91? I was thinking 90 for some reason. Uh, Perfetti, 81, just under point per game. Quinn, 68. Hopefully he doesn't drop. Cousin, 64. Dreisel down 84, 61. Bifel, 56. Holloway, 52. Pelche put up 39, put on the fourth line. That's not too bad, although minus 18. A little concerning. Doc only 38, but he is up in rating 87. Um, obviously, this team, you know, definitely fighting for ice time like real life, you know, World Juniors. You only have so many guys playing. Um, Levi, 0.894, 3.34 against. I <sighs> still got like four years left to grow. He's got to get up to at least an 80, I think. But uh, last year, kind of a Cinderella story, even though we got knocked out in the conference final by the Wild, uh, getting swept actually. The fact that we took out the Canucks um, and then the Flames, and the Canucks won the division last year as well. I think you know, pretty impressive. So we're back in the playoffs, which is good to see. Um, first round will be up against the Oilers. So McDavid and Dry Saddle. Ah, let's see what we can do here. I mean, took out the Canucks last year. First game, 6-4 win. 3-2 OT win, game number two. 6-3 loss. 3-2 win, just have to win one of the next three. Come on. 
Please. Oh my gosh, and we botch it. One of the next three, back-to-back -back OT losses, and then a loss in Game 7. Come on. So the playoffs of ending, guys, and the Vancouver Canucks are Stanley Cup champions, who we actually beat in the first round last year. So I feel like that shows we can be a Stanley Cup champion. Um, Alex Newhook there had 7 points in 7 games in the playoffs, so I like seeing that. He has dropped to an 89 overall. That's not good. Uh, he was 91 before, but he could earn it back in the summer. Buffalo there, presence trophy. Canucks actually beat the Lightning. Um, individual, Art Ross goes to Eichel. He also got the heart, so... Uh, big year for Buffalo. Darlene is a beast. Third straight James Norris. Wow. Uh, Crosby Lady Bing. Dawson Mercer on the Devils gets the call there. For a second, I'm like, is that Art Mercer? No, he's been in the NHL for quite a bit. But the players on our team are still on their original teams. Weird to see him just now making the uh, NHL team. Alex Newhook did win the Marisha Shard. That's pretty cool. Now, right here, guys, look at the lines heading into the sixth season. Honestly, I'm feeling pretty good about this year. Newhook, Perfetti, Quinn on the first line get a plus three. You then have Cousins and Doc reunite on the second line with Peltier, Holloway, Byfield, and McMichael on the third. Mercer, Zeri, and Krebs on the fourth. I feel like that's the most starting depth we've had now, like Byfield at the 3C. Uh, defensively, Byron Dries also get a plus three. Dries is actually the best defenseman now, 90 overall with a chemistry boost. Uh, Baron Harley, Gooley, Spence. Goalie, Levi still a 78, but one thing I noticed that could be huge for this season sim is that the power play one's now a plus five. Cousins, Perfetti, Newhook, Drysdale, and Quinn. So um, hopefully that power play goes off and just kind of carries this team. All right, guys, we're now at the end of season six here with a record of 40, 29, and 13. Tons of OT losses this season. Uh, so we finished there with 93 points. We are back in the playoff picture. Uh, again, as long as you're in the playoffs, you never know what will happen. Third there. We're going to have a rematch against the Oilers. Alex Newhook, 92 points. Um, over a point per game, 48 goals. So like I said, he always sims really, really well. Um, good to see him doing that good. Perfetti, 87. That's also really good. Quinn, 83. So uh, that top line went off. I think, honestly, all of them could even grow. Perfetti, 91 is growth. Cousin, 71. Drysdale, 66. He could get up to like 80, 89. Uh, Helche, 64. So he went from the fourth line to top six. Byron, 54. Doc, 48. Hallway 45, okay. The big question really for us is in net. Levi, quite 904 and a 2.88. That's pretty good. Um, Hopefully next year he's like a 7980. If we need it next year, obviously we do have a chance to win the Stanley Cup this season. I think that power play plus five is really going to give us an edge. So first round, Edmonton Oilers. <sighs> we'll see what happens. McDavid and Dreisel are tough, but uh, you never know. Maybe we can get by them this time. Never mind. The standings must have just switched as we actually had the St. Louis Blues here in the first round. Um, so somebody must have passed us, Calgary, to get third. Uh, we're now the wild card playing St. Louis. First two games are wins. Um, same with the third game there. Please just win one of four. Let's go. We actually swept the Blues, I believe, um, as a wild card team. As, yeah, that's the only way we can play the St. Louis Blues if they finish first in the Central. So pretty uh, big statement, I think, first round. Sweeping the central winners, kind of like our first time in the playoffs when we beat uh, Vancouver. We now have the Winnipeg Jets here, who have won a Stanley Cup, so it's definitely going to be a test for our team. Um, 4 0 loss, 4 0 win, 4 1 loss, 3 1 win, 4 1 win, 4 3 win, and now we have the Vancouver Canucks. Okay, so um, on to the conference final, and the Rangers and the Buffalo Sabres in the Eastern Conference final. <sighs> 8 2 so far, come on. Let's take out the Canucks, 7 4 win, 5 2 win. Heading home, 6-4 win, 5-4 OT win. We have the Buffalo Sabres in the Stanley Cup Final. Let's go. Now, before we play the Buffalo Sabres, guys, I want to take a quick look at what their roster is looking like. Taylor Hall's still on the team. Eichel in 93. Jack Quinn only in 86 for them. Mantha's there now. Reinhardt Skinner's still there. William Carlson. Dylan Cousins, that's right. 87 for them. Dowling, who's won the Norris Trophy, what, three years in a row. They've added Ghost of Spare and Fowler and Lindell. Um... Lekin and Annette's an 88. This is a tough team. This is a really well-built team. And after seeing the Sabres roster, guys, I want to compare our ratings here. We have 97 offense, which is pretty nuts. Uh, 84 D is okay. Secondary goaltending is not the greatest. Um, they have 98 offense, only one higher. 91 D, 88 goaltending. So their defense is 7 better, which, I mean, they have Raz Delene, so it's going to be higher. But it's not that much higher. Goaltending, for sure, they have us beat. But... It's a seven game series, you never know. Now I think I saw they had 55 wins in the regular season, so they're gonna be a tough team to beat, but seven game series, anything can happen. First two games in Buffalo, oh, let's go. 4-1 win, 3-2 OT win. Wow, that's the start we needed. That's not, 7-3 loss there, our first game at home. 6-5 win, we're one game away from the Stanley Cup in our sixth year with this Canadian World Junior team. Okay, so 
Gainer 5 in Buffalo. We actually won both games in Buffalo, surprisingly. First period, up 1, Connor McMichael. And 3-3, three, three. big uh, second period for them. Holloway Drysdale for us. We'll resume Sim here. <sighs> Sam Reinhardt, that's not good. Uh, you never know though, lots of game left. Power play, it's a plus 5. Pelche, let's go. I think that's actually our second unit. Only a plus 1, we need to kill theirs. There we go. Uh, so tie game 4-4. Four, four. They're out treating us by quite a bit. About 10 shots more. Alex Newhook, let's go. That could be it. 5 minutes to go. Oh my god, Jack Eichel. Three minutes left. Two, one, and <laughs> we're going to OT. Doc again. The puck's on his stick a lot here. I think he might want it. Pelche, nice save. Nice save from Levi. I don't know how they had so much pressure on the PK. New hook on the puck. Basically a one on two. They poke it off him. Who is that? Doc? <sighs> nice try. I almost had that game winner again. Oh no. Eichel and Hall, two on oh. And that's all she wrote. I'll probably skip through a lot of that because it happened in the second OT, but <sighs> two games left. We got to win one of them. So a bit of a heartbreaker there, guys, in the second overtime of game number five. I have a chance to win it at home, though, in game number six. 2-1 lead. Zary and Newhook. Hall for them. 5-2 lead. Byfield, Newhook again. Hall away. Okay, come on, boys. You, <laughs> Come on. Come on. Hold on to a 5-2 lead. I feel like they want redemption after that uh, loss there because they played tough. Quinn Byfield gets one. 6-2. to two. Power play. We get another from Cole Perfetti. That's, I think that's all she wrote. 7-2. to two. Knock on wood. But it's 7-2 it's to two, uh, with 5 minutes to go now. Carlson gets one. 7-3. They're going to need literally a miracle. 19 seconds. Uh, took six years, but the 2021 Canadian World Junior Team finally going to be Stanley Cup champs. Five seconds to go, even if they got one more there. I forgot to go uh, <laughs> computer versus cute computer. Doesn't matter. Oh, man, I wish I could have saw this yesterday. I'm not going to lie. Uh, but, I mean, at least they finally get to sell it here six years later. And they're not winning gold medal at the World Juniors. Instead, they're winning the Stanley Cup. This team stays together and beats a pretty stacked Buffalo team. Like, honestly, um, the additions they made to the defense, uh, their goaltender was elite, like 10 overall higher, I think, than Levi. Uh, he was an 88, Levi's still only a 78, but uh, that chemistry, I think, on the power play. Our, t our forward group, honestly, just so much depth. And again, sometimes you just got to get lucky in the playoffs, and I think that's what finally happened for us. The face-off circle there with the Maple Leaf, you got to love it. I think that's, uh, yeah, that's Bowen Byron. That's actually not a terrible game face, honestly. Usually the junior players don't look that good. And let's see, Con Smythe Trophy winners, Dylan Holloway. That is a surprise. Wow, 24 points in the playoffs. I'm not sure how many games played we had, but Dylan Holloway, way to go. Uh, you know, sometimes those third line guys, they step up in the playoffs. You love to see that. And uh, Kirby Duck broke his wrist in the World Juniors. Chance for redemption here. Try and win a cup with this team, and he gets it done. And now you see Kirby, the captain, going out to get the Stanley Cup. Love that. Taking a pick with, uh, again, the, uh, the worst rendition I think I've ever seen of Gary Petman. Like, come on. Let's go. So six years, I would say, heading into this, I think I did that faster than I expected, to be honest. And next year, you got the classic team pick. I'm not sure who that is with the green tape. I love the captains, all three in the middle. Cousins, Doc, Byram. Good team. Again, I wish we could have saw that yesterday. But this, this, is, my, <laughs> this is what I get to do to kind of make up for it. <sighs> love to see that. Also, I want to take a look at the playoff scoring leaders. As I saw Jack Quinn actually led our team in playoff scoring. So, uh, Dylan Holloway, 25. Interesting choice. Um, two less points than Quinn. Six less goals than Newhook. Quinn only had two goals. The dude's literally a sniper. He's got five-star hands and five-star shooting, but he's known for being a shooter. I'm surprised he's just, you know, somehow become a playmaker, but if it works for our team, it works. Same with Newhook here. He literally is a playmaker. His hands are insane. Shots, good, but I think Quinn's is better, and he's the one scoring all the goals. Um, Holloway here, 82 shots, only one game. <laughs> I think they messed. The Con Smite should went to Alex Newhook. Uh, 25 points, the same amount, 18 goals, five game winners. I don't know how Dylan Holloway got picked. Don't want to take anything away from the guy, but uh, seems to be the wrong choice there. Uh, Levi showed up big in the playoffs by 912 to 2.84. I think he'd definitely be growing um, from that 78 overall. So look at the awards now. 
Stanley Cup looks good, no presents. Clarence's Campbell, Prince of Wales, Malkin, Art Ross. Keller though got the Hart Trophy. I think that's the first time in this entire sim. But those two trophies aren't given to the same guy. Ekman Larson gets the James Norris. It's gonna hurt for Dallin. Loses the Norris and the Cup. Malkin gets the Lady Bing. This corrupt dude called her. Hallway con smite again. I'm not sure. Unless let me know if some of you guys saw something. Lekkinen just won the Vesna third straight year. So that's a very good team we beat. Uh, William and Jennings there for the second straight year. Buffalo's nasty. Edmonton, Bill Masterton, Nashville coach, Kokaniemi Selkie, Keller, Ted Lindsay, and then Line and Risha Shard. So I uh, didn't really get any player award besides from Newhooks and Risha Shard last year. And I'm trying to remember who it was. One of our defensemen winning the Bill Masterton in the first season, but just to go to show, you just gotta have a good team to win the Stanley Cup, and we did just that. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I thought that was a lot of fun. If you did, I'll leave that thumbs up. If you guys have not subscribed yet, like, happy watching have it. Make sure you do that, and as always, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.